This is WCIA 3 News at 5. For the whole society to move forward for more justice. That's why a woman in California started an online petition to make sure Ying Ying Zhang is not forgotten. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. Zhang died three years ago. She was a visiting scholar at the U of I who ki was kidnapped and killed by Brent Christensen. He was sentenced to life in prison. WCI 3's Jamie Mays is live in the newsroom tonight. So Jamie, you spoke to that woman who started the petition. Why did she decide to do it? Gloria Ding lives in California. She was never a student at U of I. She's never visited the university, but she felt more needed to be done to protect others. Ying Ying Zhang's case is closed. Her remains were never found. An online petition is trying to get justice for Zhang. Ding, who started it, says she wants U of I and the police department to look at their policies regarding treating mental health and how they deal with suspicious activity on or near campus. I think. What's really important is that the, those in power uh, should be held accountable and take the steps to create and create changes. So that's why I started the petition. She says so far it has gotten a little attention since she started it last week. It has gotten over 60 signatures in the newsroom. Jamie Mays, WCIA three year local news leader. Certainly every little bit counts. All right, Jamie, thanks. Zhang's estate filed a lawsuit against two U of I social workers. The suit says the social workers did not report statements Christensen made about wanting to kill himself. It was filed in federal court but dismissed. It was sent to state court where it was also dismissed.